This is Gareth from Somerset Music and in this video we're going to be learning how to read tab. So let's start by talking about what tab is. I'm sure that all of you are familiar with music notation. It looks like this. And even if you don't know how to read music notation, you will recognise that this is what music looks like. When we write music we use these symbols um, they're given names such as crotchets, quavers, minims, uh, we use things like rests. Um, and it can be tricky to read. Um, it's not as hard as people make out. There is quite a, an easy uh, logic to music and once you understand it, it is actually easy to read. But it is difficult to transfer that reading onto your instrument. Um, and that takes a lot of dedication and practice and repetition. And I'm not saying that tab is better than notation because it isn't. There's a lot of things that you can't write on tab that you can write on music. But it is, as a beginner, an easier way of getting started and getting used to reading and transferring that reading onto your instrument. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of tab, but I'm also a big fan of notation as well. So it is important to learn both ways. So tab is reading by numbers. And you'll notice if we look back at the notation that we looked at earlier, that it is written on five lines. This is called a stave, five lines. So traditional music notation uses five lines. Tab doesn't use five lines. It uses however many strings you have on your instrument. So in this case, on a ukulele, we have four strings. So tab for a ukulele will use four lines. If we look at other instruments, such as a guitar, a guitar has six strings. So tab for a guitar would have six lines. So let's look at ukulele notation. We have four strings. So we have four lines and each one of those lines is numbered one, two, three and four. So notation for tab will look like this. Now, if we look at our strings, we also have four strings. The strings on my ukulele are numbered one, two, three and four. So you will first of all notice that the strings go in the opposite direction. And that can be confusing, but I'm hopefully going to show you why it isn't confusing and how you can get your head round and understand just what's going on here. So with ukuleles and guitars and stringed instruments that we play like this, such as mandolins and banjos, we don't call this the top string. This is not the top string. This is the top string. And I know that some of you are now looking at me and thinking, what? What's he talking about? How can this be the top string? It's easier to understand if we look at a guitar. So here you can see my guitar has magically jumped off the wall and appeared in front of you. And if we look at a guitar, again, we have the strings from here. Uh, so we've got string number one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this string, String number six, you can hear is quite a low pitched string. Okay, so if you listen to that, that's quite a deep sound, it's low. If I play this one over here, string number one, you can hear it's a much higher sound, it's gone up in pitch. And as I play each string from six, five, four, three, two, and one, you can hear that pitch is going up. If I go the other way, you can hear the pitch going down. So this is why we call this the bass string, because it's the lowest pitch string, and this the top string, because it's the highest pitch string. It's got nothing to do with where it sits on the guitar. It's got nothing to do with the fact that this is high up near the ceiling and this is near the floor. It doesn't come into it. So remember, bottom string, top string. So back to our ukulele. That rule doesn't quite work the same on a ukulele because this string is not the lowest pitched string. 
that is the lowest pitch string, string number three. And so that can be a little bit confusing. So you just have to accept it, that this is the bottom string, this is the top string, um, and it's to do with pitch um, and traditional old, old instruments. Like I say, this one kind of sits outside that rule a little bit. So let's look at our ukuleles in a slightly different way. I'd like you to take your ukuleles and just place it either on your laps or on the desk in front of you. But don't turn it round, don't do anything silly with it. Just take it from here, from where you're playing, and just place it down. Okay, so it's still sitting lengthways in front of you. Do that now. So all of you now should be looking at something like this on your desks in front of you. Let's just think about where those strings are at the moment. We've got string number one, string number two, string number three, and string number four. And if we compare that to the tab that we looked at earlier, you can see that now those strings are in the same order. We've got string number one at the top, string number two, string number three, and string number four. So let's just start by looking at how we write tab on these lines. You can see in this example, we've got some zeros written on the different strings. So first of all, we've got a zero on this string. And when you see a zero, it just means you're going to play that string. So let's start with that string. OK, don't pick it up, leave it on the desk in front of you and just play that string there. The first one that you can see at the beginning of the example. The next note is on the next string up or string number three. So we're going to play that one now. OK, so play that one. And then if we look along the line, the next zero is written on the next line up or string number two. OK. And then the next zero, in fact, the next three zeros are written on this line or this string, string number one. And we're going to play that three times. OK, and if you're really clever, and if you've been paying attention, you will have just realised that we've played My Dog Has Fleas. So let's do that together. OK, I'll just do that again and hold my ukulele so it doesn't move. Let's do that again together. Ready? After three. One, two, three. OK, so this is what my dog has fleas looks like when it's written in music let's just play that again one more time and this time i want you to try and do it with your thumb on string number four your first finger on string number three your middle finger on string number two and your third finger your ring finger or your annular finger on string number one OK, I'm just going to hold my ukulele again so it doesn't move. And we're going to play thumb, first, middle, third. OK, so together after three. One, two, three. OK, let's just put our fingers back on. We're not going to play it for a moment, but just put your fingers on and just look at the music and think about which finger is playing which string. Now, keeping your fingers there on those strings, with your other hand, scoop underneath the neck, and let's pick up our ukuleles and go back to our normal playing position. So here we are, back in the same position we started, with our fingers still on those strings, and our thumb is on string number four, our first finger on string number three, our middle finger on string number two and our third finger on string number one. So nothing's changed with our fingers. We're going to look at the music and we're going to play those exact same fingers once again. OK, so keep your eye on the music as you do. Don't look at your hand. Don't look at the, the strings. Just keep your eye on the music 
and here we go again after three one two three so now we've just played what's written on the tab even though the notes on the tab are going up and the notes on our ukulele are going down we can see that they are logically placed if we look down at our at our ukulele nothing's changed from when it was sat on the desk it hasn't suddenly flipped over the other way round we haven't suddenly reversed anything it's still in exactly the same position in reference to our eyes as we look down that first string still kind of appears at the top it's still the furthest one away from us and that's the way you've got to start thinking about it not top and bottom but which order the strings are going in away from you just like on the tab the strings are kind of going up so they are on your ukulele i know that's a little bit of a uh, strange concept to get your heads around but once you do get your heads around that idea it actually becomes very 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 easy okay let's look at another tune this is one that everyone enjoys playing i'm not going to tell you what it is yet you can work it out and i'll tell you at the end so this one again we're using open strings at the moment and we're starting on string number two and we're going to play string number two three times because you can see there are three string number twos in a row so let's play that together after four three four stop there after those string number threes you can see that the note moves to string number three and then string number four so we're going to play string number two three times one two three then we're going to move to string number three i'm not going to say move up because we've already talked about up and down and if i start using ups and downs it's going to get confusing so we're just going to move to string number three and then we're going to move to string number four okay so let's do those together string number two 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 three four after four three four Let's do that again. Three. In fact, I'll come a bit closer to the camera so you can see what I'm doing with my fingers. Okay, so I'm playing string two, 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 three, four. Ready? Three, four. One more time. Three, four. Okay, the next notes play the same strings again. We go back to string number two, but only once this time. Then string number three, then string number four. Okay, and then the final note goes back to string number two. So if we think about the order of these strings, if you just watch my finger, we're going string number two, 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 three, four, two, three, four two we haven't played string number one at all so this string down the bottom here we have sorry i shouldn't say that should i the string number one we haven't played at all so just ignore this string start on string number two 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 three four two three four two let's do that together ready three four Do that one more time three four and some of you are already going to be starting to recognize what tune it is let's do it one more time but this time we want to think more carefully about the rhythm i'm going to play through it first of all just listen to how some of the notes are a little bit quicker than others giving it a different rhythm okay ready can you hear how those when we go from string four back to string two it's a quick note so it kind of pushes the music forwards listen one more time and i'm sure now 
there are people shouting out in class what tune it is and if you don't know it's from Star Wars and it's the Imperial March or as some people call it Darth Vader's tune okay so we want to play with that quick note to give it that kind of limping feeling or that jumping feeling as we go back to string number two okay so let's try that together ready one two three four If you prefer, you could play it with a plectrum. Okay, it makes no difference. It's up to you. Let's look now at the second half. So something slightly different now. You can see in this example, we've got some different numbers on our stave or on our lines. And we've got, first of all, we've got a number two, and it's written on string one, on the top line, and it's on string number one, but we've got a two instead of a zero. And that refers to these things on the neck of our ukulele, these bars going across, and these are called frets, F-R-E-T-S. And when we place our finger on a fret, and you'll notice we, we call it putting our finger on a fret, but actually our finger is between the frets. You can see there my finger is not touching the actual fret. I'm not putting my finger on the bar of the fret. I'm putting it in the gaps between. And this is fret number one. It's also string number one. This is fret number one, but I'm on string number two. This is fret number one, but I'm on string three. And this is fret number one on string four. So anywhere that I put my finger here is fret one. This is fret two, fret three, fret four, fret five, and so on. Okay, and I can go right the way up to that really high note up there. And obviously, some ukuleles have even more frets and can go even higher. When we place our fingers, we have to push down on the string. The idea here, a little bit of science for you, is that you're pushing the string down so that it rests on the bar of the fret. So that I'm pushing it and the string can now vibrate from here up to the end okay if the string is not touching so if I'm just resting my finger on that string we all know from when we played our chords earlier remember when we were learning um, back in the previous video we were learning how to play the F chord and we talked about this sound we get that sound when our string when our finger is just resting on the string and the string isn't allowed to vibrate but if we press down on the string as we know with our chord we can change the note or the pitch of our string. So it's exactly the same as when we were playing chords. We're pushing down on the string so that we get a nice clear sound. So put your finger now on string number one, fret number two. And teachers, if you could pause the video at this moment and just look around the room and check pupils have got their fingers on that fret. So just pause for a second. Okay, so back to where we were. We're going to be playing this string three times. After four, ready? Three, four. Okay. And if we look now at the next note, it's still on the same string, but it's changed number. It's gone from, from number two to number three. So we're going to play three notes on string number two, and then one note on string number three. Are we ready? Three, four. Okay, let's do that again, but this time I'm going to do something different with my fingers. Ready? Three, four. Did you notice what I did different? So the first time I slid my finger up, from two to three. The second time, I used a different finger. OK, 
okay? The second way is the correct way, but if you prefer to just slide at this stage, again, I'm not gonna say too much at this point, but if you can start practicing using more than one finger, that would be great. Let's do that again one more time, but this time, at the end of that, we're gonna play string number four. So you can see that on the music. It goes two, 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 three, and then the next zero is right up on string, or right down on string number four. Okay, so here we go. Two, 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 three on the first string, and then fourth string to finish that off. Ready? Three, four, two. Let's do that again. Three, four. And if we look now at the next bar of music, you can see we've got strings two, three, four, two. We've already played this in the first half. It's exactly the same. So let's just finish that off with string two, three, four, two. Three, starting on string two, three, four, two. Three, four, two. Let's do that again. Three, four, two, three, four, two. So the whole of the second half sounds like this. Watch my fingers as I play it. Okay, and if I now play it with the correct rhythm, we go. The trickiest bit is going from string number four back to string number two. So that's going to take a little bit of practice. And you might find that you accidentally hit the wrong string a few times while you're practicing. And that's OK. Just keep practicing it and you'll get it. So practice through that. Pause a moment and practice through that second half. And now we're going to play the whole thing from the beginning. So let's just look at the music again for a second. We've got open strings at the beginning, string two, 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 three, four, two, three, four, two. And then we've got the fingers on the second fret. Now, the interesting thing is because we don't play that first string until we get to there, we can actually put our finger on that second fret right from the beginning. OK, we can put our fingers there now. So get your fingers now on that fret string number one fret number two get your fingers press them down and leave it there and we're going to start from the beginning on string two okay so starting here string two and from the start after four one two three four Let's do that one more time from the beginning. Three, four. Well done. We're going to do it one more time, but this time I'm going to get other me to help out. And you can see that this time I've put the chords above the tune and the chords are very easy they're chords that we've learned it's just a minor and f so you only have to move your first finger on and off the chords go like this a minor a minor a minor f a minor f a minor rest and that's what that funny little squiggle is at the end of the second line let's do that again a minor a minor a minor f a minor f a minor and we do it twice so let's do it twice this time. Three, four. A minor, A minor, A minor, F, A minor, F, A minor. And again, A minor, A minor, A minor, F, A minor, F, A minor. So we're going to play through the tune one more time. Other Me is going to play those chords. If you struggle with the tune and you think that it's not really for you, play the chords with Other Me. If you... Um, if you think you can do the tune, then play the tune with me. Or in fact, re rewind the video a few times and have a go at playing both. 
Okay, so here we go. From the beginning, pick your part. So if you're playing the tune, get that first finger down now. If you're playing the chords, get your first finger on A minor. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four. Well done. So enjoy playing Darth Vader. Um, look out for the video that's going to be coming out uh, this week as well on um, warm ups um, and just tips and techniques that you can do to improve your playing. So that should be coming out in the next couple of days. Um, and enjoy playing. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.